Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to a quick midweek video and uh, this one is going to be called uh, Gimme Some Humorous Album Covers. This is an idea which came to me a while ago. I showed an album the other day by Andy Fairweather Lowe which had um, <clears throat> quite a sort of humorous cover. Something I've noticed record digging through the years that you often stumble across album covers which have been deliberately designed to be humorous in some way. I think particularly in the 1970s there was a move towards album covers that were self-consciously humorous, that uh, had some elements of, of wordplay or uh, just some kind of visual joke going on on the cover. Although when I came to actually get the records out or you know to pull them off the shelf <clears throat> I did notice that most of the really big names um, of rock music or whatever tended not to go down that route so it's very difficult to find say a humorous Bob Dylan cover or a humorous Rolling Stones cover or Beatles cover I do have one Pink Floyd one amazingly uh, but um, in my experience it seems to be the kind of lesser known names that went for uh, the humorous angle and you got in the 1970s occasionally you'd get some quite naff examples and and there are some bands I can think of. I'm not going to give it away because hopefully somebody will jump on this thread and show these records but uh, there are some uh, artists who kind of went down the slightly cheesy humour, that kind of slightly contrived humour where you would have to set up a visual shot and, and use some kind of wordplay um, that was you know clearly meant to be funny at the time but in retrospect you look at it and you kind of go Maybe a cover more like Dark Side of the Moon would have been more effective to sell this record. Anyway, I've got ten for you, I think, so I'm going to whiz through them. They sort of fall into categories sometimes, not all the time. I'm going to make it up as I go along rather than being too structured about it. So a cover that always made me laugh when I was growing up well, was this one, uh, Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry. And I... <clears throat> I've always assumed, I've always assumed that it was meant to be a humorous cover. It just used to make me laugh whenever I saw it in shops when I was a kid. It's just so ridiculous. There's no way you could say, okay, that's a serious attempt to do a horror cover. It's just D. Schneider lying on the floor with a huge human bone in his hand, meant to be a human bone. And uh, just the expression on his face, um, it's, it still makes me laugh to this day. It always raises a chuckle. So I suppose you could call that a kind of mock horror kind of cover, but um, Twisted Sister, love them. Uh, okay, a bit of wordplay for you from the 1960s. Now there is a bit of a rude picture here, I'm gonna cover it over for the, in case any children are watching. This is uh, the Pink Floyd album, A Nice Pair, and I've got my finger over the nice pair there. So this is what you'd call a classic uh, pun or wordplay. Uh, you have a picture of a, uh, a woman um, with a chest exposed and then you have a picture of a pair being crossed out and I also I also used to love this this is a fork in the road uh, you have somebody with a frog in their throat you know it's just it's puns it's wordplay and uh, there are some other there's at least two other wordplay ones in here I've got them in the wrong order here there's two albums by Squeeze which have some quite nice wordplay this has been a, long been a favourite. It's a pun on the Mozart opera Cozy Fan Tutti. Here we have uh, a tea cozy, a fan, and a tutti frutti ice cream. That's giving us Cozy Fan Tutti Frutti. That's a little bit like I was saying before, you know, the kind of album titles that they're kind of so contrived that you thought maybe it was a good idea at the time. Now maybe it seems a little bit laboured. And this one was a, perhaps a bit better. Babylon and on. A pun. Uh, Babylon, as in the Egyptian Babylon, and also this is another category, you have funny face album covers, somebody pulling a funny face, can't go wrong with that. Okay, so talking of albums where people are pulling a funny face, for this one I had to go rear cover, we have John Lennon, the album, Wars and Bridges, which has this rather clever uh, kind of flap arrangement going on. I'm not going to start to get it open because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it closed, but uh, quite surprising of all the Beatles. I went through all the McCartney albums, couldn't really find one. Um, I did think of George Harrison's album Extra Texture as being a um, wordplay record, but I didn't dig it out. 
Okay, uh, next we have bands who appear in caricature form on their album covers. So here we have uh, an example. This is the Move album Shazam. So uh, that's quite funny. There must be other examples of that. Hopefully people can, uh, can find them and show them. Um, next we have, oh, okay, right, okay. So we've got one more wordplay one. This is uh, Sparks and Kimono My House, which is kind of in the same spirit as Babylon and On. I mean, Sparks, you would expect Sparks to have uh, some kind of ironic or humorous thing going on on their covers because that's what their music was often like. This has long been a favorite of mine. The album Propaganda, where they're seen tied up on a, on a boat on the cover clearly being taken out to sea, and on the back you have them uh, tied up in the back of a car, which is great. Fantastic cover. This is the Leon Russell album Stop All That Jazz, and the cover, it's a bit of a busy cover, and at first you don't see what's humorous about it. It's a kind of tribe of natives. I don't know whether you could get away with a cover like this nowadays. I think it would be seen as uh, you know, very bad taste and possibly racist. But they're preparing uh, a meal, and the meal is Leon Russell himself sitting in a big pot, uh, looking surprisingly happy about his situation. And then on the back there, there he is in the pot, which, which is funny. I think it's quite funny. We're going to finish with my favourite humorous cover, and this one is... Maybe you call it satirical, I don't know. It's, it's ironic, it's surreal, it's uh, Kiss Dressed to Kill. I love the way this plays on the band image. Standing at a bus stop, waiting for a bus, looking as if they're heading out for a day's work. Uh, but it, of course, uh, they're, in, they're in full makeup. I love the expression on Paul Stanley's face. Oh, where is it? There it is. And Gene looking his usual manic self at the end, wearing this rather ill-fitting suit. So there we go. Do you have any humorous album covers to show? Get digging along those shelves and uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.